Dining. Hello there. Excuse me? I said, how are you doing there? Hi, fine. Thank you for asking. Uh, yeah, can I get a latte? Um, and alongside with the uh, the white toast with strawberry jam, can I get a side of bacon, please? Yes. Order of bacon, Thank you. Full milk's fine. I'm sorry? Full milk's fine. Full, full, milk full milk's fine. Full milk. Will that be all? Uh, yeah, that's everything. Thank you. I'm sorry? Yeah, that's everything. Thank you. Pancakes? No, that's everything. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. We'll see you in 25 minutes or less. Thank see you, you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> pancakes? I don't need no goddamn pancakes. I had pancakes yesterday. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. Uh, we are starting off with... Um, some good ass news. Um, I woke up um, to a text of the one and only Joseph Suggereth, um, aka Joe Sugg, or Mister Mister Me, Mister Toe himself, um, to, to a message saying, "Congrats on number one trending." And I was like, "What?" Now on my Twitter, I was very aware that yesterday, if I scroll, unscroll, 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 on down, 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 here. My video got to number nine on trending saying, who needs cars? We have a helicopter. And I was like, yo, that is amazing. Of which I got into a conversation with the one and only uh, square forehead himself, Will Any. And, and I just basically said to him, I honestly don't care. Like, I don't know how I got onto the, uh, like, the trending page. It didn't have that many views, that many likes or anything like that. Doesn't make sense whatsoever. So when Joe texted me this morning saying congrats on number one trending, I was like, wait, did that video go from ninth? Place trending to number one, that's a bit weird. Um, and the answer was, nope, not at all. Yesterday's vlog, in fact, is right now the number one most trending video on all of YouTube. Not only in the UK, but in the US as well. So if I go to the YouTubes and I click trending right here, you sh yeah. <laughs> you should see my face at the top of the page. What on earth? Like, what? what this makes no sense. Dolan Twins. Uh, Womb Simulator, okay, yeah, sure. Womb Simulator, 3 million views in 19 hours. My video, 127,000 views in 20 hours, but nonetheless, it is the number one trending video. Now I know why you've all come here. You wanna know, Tom, how did you get your video to be the number one most trending video on all of YouTube across the US and the UK? T tell us how, and I'm gonna tell you right now. After four years of nearly daily vlogging, four years, I've probably had two videos ever, ever go number one trending. I've probably had about 10, maybe, go in the top 10 trending. Um, that, that, that video yesterday um, being number ninth, being one of them, and now this being the number one trending one. How did I do it? Let me tell you right now. I don't have a goddamn clue. I seriously don't have a goddamn clue. I didn't do anything different. I didn't change anything. I didn't do anything different with my titles, my tags, my video, my the way I film, the f thing I film with, anything. I just did what I normally do and don't care about the system. And yet, I ended up number one trending on YouTube. So, we're going to take this as an absolute win. And my advice to anyone who's like, I want to get on the trending page or anything like that is, just do your own thing. Have fun. Create content. If you like it, it'll show... And if it's good content, people will enjoy it. And to me, for me personally, I would say that video is good content. Like, it was a really, really fun video for me to film. I really enjoyed it. I was dead happy about the way it was put together. The other one that was trending the other day was number nine. I wasn't. So I don't understand how that got onto the trending page. I really, 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 really don't know uh, how that got there. But I just did my own thing. And without a care in the world, that happened. So that's a win. And it's that time of the day again. Whew. Ooh, a little bit chilly this morning. Bit of overclass, class, classed, overclass, overclass. Uh, oh my god, I'm falling apart. Bit of uh, overcast fog right now, but this is like uh, I think they call it like fog rolling in, sea fog or something. And they wait in the in in here in LA, they wait for the the sun to burn it away. That's what people have told me over the years. Whatever, whatever it's called. All right. And it burns away, and then it just becomes a beautiful, absolutely amazing setting. We've got someone doing some lengths in the pool down there. I'm liking it, and what? It appears there's, no, there's, now, there's now a unicorn in there. Okay, great, nice, I like it. But I'm going to sit on my little stoop, and now I'm going to have myself some scoop. 
I'm like a bag. I'm gonna sell some bacon, some strawberry jam, and a fruffa laffa latte. Man, another day of uh, getting up and working on designs with Evan Ackard. If you guys don't remember, yesterday we uh, we got to a really good point with um, a new T-shirt that we're releasing soon. Um, and where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This is what we got to. Yeah, working on this bad boy. I'm gonna add a bit of white into the front design under this triangle around it. But yeah, look at this, man. That is absolutely a gorgeous design. And now this is the next design Evan's showing me. Um, th this is this is uh, its much simplest form. We we had one iteration that I gave him the idea and he gave me a sketch. And then this is like his second uh, like like take of it. So uh, yeah, just gonna like work on it, see what we can improve, see what we can get it as. Initial feedback is like the lion looks super mean. I love this, and I know it's like sketchy, but we're gonna. He's talking about a graffiti style style. For the uh like these little marks and stuff not a fan of things looking a bit too cartoony i like things looking a bit sharper like see this shirt i'm wearing right now like the aces shirt is such a mean like classy design whereas like you know like that looks mean but then it's a bit cartoonish but hey this is this is how we work on things but i have to i'm gonna have to tell evan hold the phone i need to eat some breakfast i'm starving vicky americans tried to call that bacon nah. it's just it's 99 percent fat no, it's quite soft. Mm. A little bit of crispiness to it, but the fat, the fat's just like eating pure oil. Wow. Mate, ask me what I've been doing for the past, what time is it? One sec, what, what time is it? <laughs> for the past 30 minutes, because uh, I downloaded an app called Procreate, I've been drawing, all right? Now, it's I, I, I don't draw in real life and I can't draw on a tablet. I have no idea. I don't even know what I'm doing with this app, but ladies and gentlemen, it, it's not supposed to look like it, but it's my interpretation of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I drew a bottle of water. Expectations versus reality. Now, don't get me wrong. I know it looks nothing like it, the color in the font and all that sort of stuff, but half the shit I don't even know how to do and I couldn't be asked drawing the logo. But, ladies and gentlemen, I drew a bottle of water. And if you'll be so impressed, I even have layers. Don't even know what I was doing with half of it, but look how good that looks. That actually looks like a bottle of water to it certain degree i'm very proud of myself guys what would you give me out of 10 for my bottle of water leave a comment down below uh now i'm going to send that to evan the designer um and let him laugh at me of me being like dead proud being like evan i drew myself a bottle of water <laughs> and he's just gonna be like you're just embarrassing and i'm like i know it is what it is but i'm proud of myself now this is what else we're proud of right this is the first mock-up sketch that evan sent me and i give feedback and then we go from it right but we went from this to this but then as we progress down the line of how like we put it into things of like what's inspired us like you know this sort of style then i was like well i need to see it on a shirt to see what that looks like properly and i'm like oh i'm absolutely loving it and then just like so much inspiration of like different things that i've liked over time or putting something in a frame and then we tried it in a frame but it's like not too liking the colors so we change it up a little bit you know, like, I, I prefer this. But then as we, we just scrolled up, there's me drawing a bottle of water. But then we get to, like, this, and I'm like, right, okay, now try that, but on a papyrus background. And everyone's like, what? I'm like, try on a papyrus background like this. So this is papyrus, like, ah, uh, sorry, paper that the Egyptians used. Because we're going for an Egyptian theme, so why not have, uh, right, remove the frame, like, tape it up to the, up to the back of the print, and then do this. So you might be like, what on earth is this? This is my way of showing Evan how to do it. So Papyrus, with that design on it, then we tape the corners on, but then we add that. So it looks like, you know, an art exhibition display. I'm really proud of myself. I love, like, the, the one thing I love is when I travel and go out and about, I'm never, I, I hate being on my phone, like just sat on Twitter or whatever. Like, if I'm traveling from A to B, that I've done, you know, like, the same route I've done my entire life, then I'll probably just look at my phone. But when I'm traveling out and about, the best thing I get to do is just, like, look around, and take things in see what inspires me or a pattern or a design or something i love or something i can look at i'm like boom i absolutely need that in my life so i'm going to be quite interested to see what evan whips up now with this next design from me drawing this stupid blacked out canvas papyrus display um but now with this little thing underneath it that little tiny like little tagline under it could very much make the shirt beautiful Ooh. <laughs> Look at that, mate, I am well happy with that. That is looking good. Just need to like decrease the size of this and make it go more long ways underneath the artwork. But man, that looks pretty good. Showered, changed, meeting up with my boy Luke, rocking today. Oh, 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 the coat of arms. Oh, syndicateregional.com. If you want to get yourself a shirt, you hear us talking about designing them. If you want one, link in the description. Go and get yourself one. Nah. For a second there, I felt like the... Um, do you remember the double glazing guy? Yeah, I said you buy one, you get one free. I said you buy one, you get one free. Right now, what did Bogo for? For, for, what was it, Windows? What, what was the f***ing? 
yeah, all I can remember, I remember that, but the only other advert I remember after that is 0800 00 1066. Hello there, Harry Hastings here from Hastings Direct. I know, I watch too much TV. Simpsons every day, 6 p.m. at my grandma's house. Oosh, that was the life. All right, took my socks in again. You guys bullied me too much. I'm doing this all the time now. Hope you're happy with yourselves. Well done, guys. You know, so impressive. Um, what's not impressive is the uh, lack of things I've done here in LA. Don't get me wrong, it's been productive so far, like I've been here a day. Uh, there's so many people at the pool, and it's such bad weather. No, I'm still, I still can't decide whether, I've had, whether or not I've had a heart attack. I've just pulled like a muscle in my ribs. Because one of the things of, if you've had a heart attack, your jaw hurts. And all last night, my jaw was hurting. How do I find out if I've had a heart attack? Don't tempt me. No, not right now. Do you see what I see? There, close. Nope, he's pulling towards me. He sees me coming. He's me co he sees me coming. Hitchhiker. Hitchhiking for Tom. Hitchhiking for, oh, look at that, it works. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Well, this is Luke. He's a fabulous man. I love him to pieces. But it turns out, we now have, like, one sec, C copyright, even though this is a really good song. This is from Drive, right? I think so. Yeah, I think so as well. Um, we were supposed to go and picking up the samples of the rest of the drinks today in like an hour or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but they're not ready till 3 p.m. So what we've got to do is this guy's confusing with looking at me with no socks on. I mean, no shoes on. I like your style, my friend. That's kind of the sort of thing I do. And uh, we need to do something else in the meantime. What could we do in LA for fun for three hours? Beach? What could we do, Luke? What could we do? <laughs> no copyright? I was thinking that. Now. I was zooming in on the scooters. Oh, do you want to go get in the scooter? Tempted. Tempted. Well, just told Luke the plan of Operation Get As Much Powder as Possible from the US, smuggle it home, and hope they don't think it's drugs. Yeah. Which it totally sounds like it's drugs. He was like, I could totally do with a haircut. And he was like, and I looked at him and I was like, I can't cheat on my barber, bro. Scott, can't cheat on you, bro. I maybe could do with a bit of a trim, but dude, it's looking looking pretty. You look fine. A I need long a on the front. and a beard trim. You look pretty. You definitely need a beard trim. You look like Jack Black from a beard perspective. I don't know how I feel about that. Picture of Jack Black now. <laughs> okay, maybe that was a bit of an over exaggeration. Another day of my chest feeling like someone's punched it square in the middle. Like, it doesn't hurt when I breathe. I can't tell if I bruised my chest there from when I was scrapping, like, joking, fighting with my mate Chris because I was really pulling, like, my, my arm out. So, like, that joint a lot. But at the same time, I can't tell if it's something to do with my heart. Like, it doesn't feel like it's abnormally beating, but eating Chick-fil-A probably doesn't help either. Need to go on a cleanse, I think. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man. Get it in my belly. Just decided to go for a run around the block just to make sure, like, my heart feels like it's pumping normally. And it definitely is. So I think I've either bruised or broke a rib. Really? So I was, yeah, because when I was in, right, you guys don't know. When I was in Prague, uh, not Prague, Poland, me and Chris Ashcroft, the stag, we had like a jokey fight, like a wrestling fight. And like I had him in a headlock and I was trying so hard to pull his head down that I think I may have like either torn a muscle or like bruised myself super bad doing it. So. It just really hurts, like even if I tap on it like like that, like that, there hurts. Like right there. Ooh. <laughs> if someone squ went straight straight up to me now and squ straight punched me in the middle of the chest, I'd probably collapse. <laughs> but no, my heart feels fine. My chest though, not so much. Oh, how much I've not missed you, small rat. Don't do that, you're not impressive. I could just go boof and yeet you out the window, mate. Ooh, what a disgusting dog. One sec, all right. And three, two, <laughs> one. Orion, <laughs> edit it going flying out the window. Like, wow, look at that. Center flying. Oh no, she's back. Hello, how are you doing? You okay? Hmm. Yeah, happy to see you too. Let me put you down. Go on, go for a run. Stop barking at me. <laughs> oh, what a horrible dog. But Tom, all animals are beautiful. <laughs> yeah, they are, except that one. Sunbathing in all black. Such a good decision. Okay, bye, Luke. Ah, 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 ah. I, I, lo I love that he's just left me with his car. Like, thanks, Luke. Rather than parking it up and pay for a ticket, he just left me in it like a like a go kart to go up and down, up and down, up and down. But instead, I'm gonna play with it. Open the door. I'm like a wizard. Open the door. 
Oh, I'm like a wizard. All right, close, close. That is such a good, like such a good. Wait, is that a bogey? Ew. All right, time for, oh, oh, oh. Don't, don't you go anywhere. Foot on the brake. Oh, wait, American Park. <laughs> well, it's not American Park, is it right? Uh, wizard, wizard. Da, 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 da. Can you drive with the doors open? Pops it into drive and oh my god, you can. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I might take off. Okay, 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 close off. So sick. So sick. What a nice car, man. Ooh. Uh, suspension. What's he. Do wait. He's got a ride height low. Oh, whoa. Wait, very high. Can I feel it go up? Oh, I can. Wow, I actually can. Oh, well, you can see it raising. Whoa. Whoa. That's amazing. Wait, go very high. Whoa, it goes. Whoa. You can actually see that move then. Weird. Okay, I didn't even. I honestly didn't even know this was a, a Tesla thing. Wait, 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 go back. Right, let's put it back to, let's put it back to low. Oh, we're deflating. I'm melting. I'm melting. All right, that that's... Wow, it's still adjusting. Look, if I stay still... Look, you can see it lowering ever, ever so slightly. Ooh. It's like auto-balancing itself out. I like it. All right, now what about driving? Uh, wait, acceleration standard, steering mode, standard sport... Wait, slowly move when brake pads release slips that used to help free vehicles it's stuck on snow. No, we don't need that. Standard braking. Oh, regenerative braking. Standard or low? Standard. Okay, vehicle. Falcon door high auto. Okay. There's so many op options with this car, it's ridiculous. The sensors built into this car are so good. Look, when I put it into drive, it automatically detects with all the sensors that are on it that there's a car there which is behind a wire and a post and like that big curb, but it can still detect it's there. This is so sick. Let me just uh, let me just go ahead and open the door for my bro. Oh, uh, what's up, bro? You're not wearing any shoes to drive. No. All right, d d Dad. How did I do? <laughs> Man, that was rough. What? what, 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 what? <laughs> okay. Jerky. First of all, it was so jerky because he had regenerative braking on high rather than low. As soon as I turned the regenerative braking off. How, how better was it? It was better. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> Little shit. I'm looking for the Apple section. I need a USB-C to... My, USB. There we go. That's what we want. All right, Luke. It's your lucky day. I'm going to buy you anything you touch. It's a YouTuber challenge. Whatever you touch, in the next one second, I'll buy you. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, too late. You didn't get it in time. Well, Luke, I'm going to buy you a brand new strap <laughs> for your watch you don't have. Because... <laughs> I do need a USB-C charger, but what I just want is that cable going to that cable, which I'm pretty sure exists, but not here. Thanks to Luke's Wizarding Powers and Hillary's, that's the TV I just gave my dad. God damn. Nice ass TV. Hashtag not sponsored, but hashtag that was sponsored. Mm. Mm. I'm hoping this is gonna fix my problem. I can't charge my iPad at the moment. And I keep having to like struggle with it all day, so. Got myself a new adapter, sleeker, nicer. Hopefully fits in slots, because they're always so big. Don't get me wrong, I know they have to be, but like, the size of that unit. Look at that. Damn, got the plug. Oh, here we go. He's in the most secure, safe car in the world and he can't even reverse it by, by himself. He needs me. Stop, you're okay, let me in. Oh my God, I feel like, I feel like, oh, he's left the keys. Oh, thank God. Oh, whoa. Whoa! I was just about to say, I feel like a dog that's been left in a car. I'm so hot, how do I... Where's the power button? I picked up the... The actual... Oh my god, it's a car! <laughs> I picked up the key and the, uh, the fans came on. The Tesla, ladies and gentlemen. The Tesla. Oh! Yeah, bro. Oh. We've got the good stuff. Yeah, yeah. we got the package. What do you, what do you want? I want, I want A, B, or C. Oh. Oh. We got the goods. Get in the car, dude. Get in the car. We got the drink samples. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Did the Tesla just crash? It just rebooted. That is terrifying. An electric right. car just rebooting randomly? What Brand the heck? It sounds awful, but I think I'll try it for the vlog. 
the Thai dye frappuccino. 400 calories! Ugh. What? What is in it? Excuse me, sir. You're you telling me you're not in line for the brand new tie dye frappuccino that came out today? No, surprisingly, I'm not. Oh my god, I am. Have you tried it? You want whipped cream? Sure. Do you think I'll throw up if I, eat, I drink it? Probably. You, you don't even know what it is? Oh wow, I feel, I feel full of confidence. So we're the first no one, ones to order it. I'm here. the first one to order it. Yeah, give me that. Give me, give me, give me. That's a really bad Rice Krispie treat. I'm going off the fact that you've got yours, meaning they're still crafting mine. Yeah, they're still crafting yours. Oh my god. If it doesn't look like that, I'm suing Starbucks. Okay, Starbucks. You tried. You, 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 you tried, and you know what? You didn't fail, but it definitely doesn't look the same. I'm just really scared to try it. Alright, you ready for my honest review? Yeah. But it's not just the taste, it's how you make it makes you feel. Uh, it makes me feel great, because, <laughs> oh my god. Mate. Try, wait, try this. No. It's like a milkshake. It's like, it's like every flavor milkshake in one. It sounds awful. I'm oh. sure after five more sips I want to throw up, but right now... <laughs> this is pretty, it's pretty nice. Oh, you said no way! Yuck. He said no way! It's disgusting. Really? Yeah, it's disgusting. How would you describe the taste? Pure sugar? Yeah, like, a little sugar with like... Every milkshake flavor in the world. Like fruity Pebbles? Yeah. It's like the milk of Fruity Pebbles. You're not wrong, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to drink all of this. Welcome to the behind the scenes life of a Tesla driver. We've got 38 miles, which we could get technically to where we wanna go, but then there'd be nowhere to charge it, so we'd be stuck there. <laughs> But then this is what happens when you come to the charging stations. There's only 10 charging stations in Santa Monica. And there's one guy's just pulled in there. And there's a guy there queuing over there with a guy behind him. And all 10 spots are filled. And how long does it take to charge the cars? 25 minutes? Well, it depends on how good the supercharger is. And right. it can take anywhere between 25 minutes to an hour. Really? Yeah. Wow. I guess that's a convenience of a gas car. Damn, you save the environment and wait some time or kill the environment and be gone in seconds. Well, that's kind of cool. Ah, no. Uh oh. Time remaining in an hour. Ugh. Oh, whoa, it's an hour for it to go from there all the way to there. Yeah. Ah. Oh, Man, we have been in cars. Oh, car, all day. It's finally charging. We're looking for a drink. We need some alcohol in our body. And man, that is a beautiful, beautiful view. <laughs> and by that, I mean no, I mean this. Cheesecake factory, I love it. The dudes. Right, you have a water? I'm having a beer. Why should I move it? Mm. Right here? Yeah. Did that. Yes. So, question. Did you have to pay for that or was that free? Free. Is it gonna start charging soon or not? Well, not for me. Why? For other, other people, yeah. Why? Well, the, uh, for people who bought it before a certain date, it's you grandfa free. You grandfathered in? Yeah. You get free electricity free. for your car for life. For life. What? After a certain date, last year they started, you got one year free and then after that you have to charge, you get paid. You get but, charged like 20 cents a minute. Really? Yeah. But now but you're grandfathered free electricity free for, life. for life. Wow, that's insane. Good job, Tesla. You know, it's kind of convenient that you decide to clean out your car now because someone in the vlog yesterday did actually say, wow, Luke's car is really clean. Psych! His rims are ripped to shit. Which, by the way, hey, which, down, by the way, he did this today. I noticed he did. I was in the car when that happened. I feel bad, man. Feels real bad. Uh, but no, we've just nuked his car. It looks nice and clean. Look at that. Wow. Let's hit the road, dude. That's just a lot of pigeons. What the f***? Yeah, that's that's a lot. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Sam. We just saw a shitload of pigeons. How you doing, Sam? What's what's uh, uh, your insurance? Uh, Me and Luke are celebrating. We finally got out of the car. We were in the car for seven hours today. Seven hours. That's why I moved out of LA. F that sh never again. Oh. Oh, give me a beer. Let me chill out in the sun. But a brewski and some tunes, thank you, please!
my god, good remix, Luke. You know what? That guy said, I'm gonna draw one shark. Got bored and drew a thousand sharks. But you know what? Looks pretty good, right? Looks pretty good. We are now arriving at EPLP. Apparently, cool little bar. Um, fun fact, top of there, Orion, if you can somehow scroll 19 years back through my Instagram, you'll find a photo of me and, if Orion finds it, David Blaine. I met David Blaine and at the top of that bar. He did a magic trick and blew mine. And Luke's mind, right? Blew all of our minds. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a wizard. he seriously isn't from this earth. Just saying. You're a wizard, Harry! Oh, uh, you licked it! What? What? Why would you lick that? I tried to bite it. Uh. <laughs> Alright, Luke. Welcome to improv. We're about to cross this intersection and hopefully not get hit by a car, but if we do, what's the answer? No way. Look, you wasted out your face and you don't want to get drunk anymore? No way. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Uh, I'm actually trying to find the toilets. Yeah, there you go. But look at that for a view. Bloody hell. This is a mega bar. Kind of meant, makes a lot of sense, seeing as though I saw um, Mr. Wizard here that one time. Nice. Thanks for the reminder. Thank you. I appreciate it. Wow. Look at that view. Just look at it. I didn't know Maven was here. Wow. Look at, it. Look at that view. So we've been joined by friends. Hey, for the final the final cheers of this bar because we're leaving. The third and final cheers because we're leaving. This is out. And we're going having what kind of food? What are you doing with that? What is that? That's a gift. Where where are we going? So Tom, what can I eat? Peru Peruvian. It's literally chicken and rice. We're going having Peruvian food. I've never had it in my life. I'm more than happy to try it. I'm worried it's going to taste like Mexican. Not being rude. I just no. don't know what that's gonna taste like, so. Uh, I mean, which is nice. We are now going for Rosaline's, what is known as. Wait, what kind of food is it again? The 19th time? Peruvian. 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 Sorry, we don't have this in England. Peruvian, yeah. Like, we literally do not. If you said Persian, it would make more sense. Welcome to Peruvian food. Jack, what are you expecting? Uh, I'm Disappointment. Just Peruvian food. Oh, wait, it's stop. Chicken stop. and rice, I'm happy. I love it. No, that's cheating. You, that's what they said to you. If someone said to you Peruvian food, what would you what would you think it was? I'm not I'm, oh, watch out. Whoop. Not kidding when I say this. I'm not kidding. Chicken rice? I would literally think chicken rice. Really? I assume that if I say chicken rice. No 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 no. Is it a cool place, Tom? Um well, I didn't say anything. I, I'm not judging I'm not judging anything. What? I don't know what to say. Chicken and rice. <laughs> All you need to know is I'm gonna slap Tom in Cardamom. Destroyed. I didn't take it. That is, that is not the direction. Jack, that is not the direction I was going. That was not the direction I, I was going. No way. This guy thinks he's going to slap me in the cut tomorrow. <laughs> I'm really worried actually. I'm really scared. He plays a lot of, he plays a lot of video games. He's going to crush Oh, look at this place. Change of scenery. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. Change of scenery. Oh, this is our table? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> No, I like how you look. You look straight at me, and I was like, "What the fuck is it?" And you looked at me like, "Yeah, that's the menu." Okay, we don't know. Wait, this is cocktails. What does that mean? Starters, food, and that's. Co yeah, okay, I like it. Yeah, sure. Peruvian food. Okay, so we're gonna get all of it, I guess. So uh, I, um, we made it to the Peruvian. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, so we're gonna quadruple up the table because it's falling apart. No. Uh oh. No. Yep, go, go, go. Yep, 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 yep. Your side. Okay, you ready? Oh! <laughs> Problem solvers! With a little banana leaf wrap, would you split? Can I taste some of your chicken? Yeah. I don't need a full bite, it's like a. I'm gonna take some of my pork. Yeah. Just say no, because he'll eat it all. <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> oh, the bottom, I'm, I'm gonna go for what you said. I'm gonna go for the, uh, not chicken, but seafood and rice. Right, what if we go crazy Look at get that. A 25 ounce bone and ribeye as Whoa. an extra. Whoa. For everyone. Whoa. For it. everyone? Share it? A flavor. Do you like spice? That's a lot of flavor. Yeah, but it's, it's not even that bad. <laughs> yeah. What do you eat in England? Yeah. 
<laughs> you knew he had a heart attack. I have a heart attack. Just <laughs> If the spiciness of the night was not already there. Look at Chinese. Look at this guy. How you doing? I'm doing great. Bigger than ever. Looking beautiful. Wow. Just an FYI. This right here is what we dream of doing. I know. Every night I go to sleep, I see my rolls of fat and I think I wish I was doing. Do you know what? I had no money. like three and a half years. You gotta start somewhere. Well, hey, I, I, ain't got two, I ain't got two years to waste at the gym, what, what so whatever. I'm almost confident I had bread and jam for breakfast. And I'm having bread, mustard, and jam for dessert, d for dinner. That's incredible. <laughs> what is it? That's parsley. That's Please. Not cilantro. It's not cilantro. That's Mate, I was about to have a heart attack. I was like, <laughs> get it off. Uh, no, I'm not having it. You eat it right now. Go on. Yo! Shout, yeah, shout out to the Brit over there. That is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah? I'm sorry I'm blind. Yeah, I don't mean to. That is so good. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's only rice right now, but... I'm still dealing with the spice earlier. Mmm. So, By the know, way, to... my night season three. Factually, don't, don't say this is pretty good. It's always been. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Never, never happening. <laughs> Woo! Uh, okay, um, that looks terrible. Like dog poo. That looks like dog poo. Whatever. pretty good. Dog poo. So that looks like dog poo. No idea what that is. And this almost looked pretty good, apart from it has uh, frogs born on it. Uh, I mean, I will gladly try one. I don't want it. Also, Jack, drive safe. I need to follow you on Twitter. Uh, oh, he's going to follow you on Twitter. That's great. Okay, yeah. Yeah, just like you're going to follow up with My Night Season 3. Yeah, okay, then. <laughs> wait, stop. Stop, please. Right, wait, wait. Editor, crop him out. Do a cartwheel. <laughs> My name's Tom. I'm gonna do a cartwheel. He looks like a penguin. And... <laughs> Woo! <laughs> My cartwheel is better. Is that what they say? <laughs> is that what your mom tells you? How do you feel? <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I feel like Jack may have me beat in the finals. Thank you. But if he doesn't have me beat, then I feel like I'll just secure that. <laughs> Okay, oh. I'll jump between you two. You gotta say number between one and five. You ready? Three, two, one ten. One no, five. That's the odd. Okay, three, two, one. What? Wow, it's almost like she gave you. All right, then you get to say it back to her. Three, two, one. You have to drink all your drinks. No, no, no. you have to. All of it. Oh my god, Brittany, you're such a. Wait, they got it? Uh, I feel like it was planned, but she has to... St you're supposed to be necking that drink right now. All of it. Go, 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 go. I didn't go. mean to put her into the bus. <laughs> okay, keep going. All right, okay. No, don't make her do that. She'll be like vomiting. Oh my God, Beggy, you failed. I don't want to us. I must leave the bar. Mate, so good to you, everyone. Such good vibes, such good people. But it's now my time to go. It is good to be home at last. Thank you, sir. I know, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Drove me home safely. Take me home, country roads. Thank you. Have a good night, man. Cheers, dude. You too. All the best. Oh, man. I'm back, baby. I'm back. Oh, my God. What is going on inside? They're breaking the place apart. I have no idea what's going on, but it looks like they're ripping up the ceiling. Godspeed, boys. Good luck. That said, I am home. I am tired. And it is currently, oh my god, nearly one o'clock in the morning. Get me to bed. I'm gonna get up at oh, eight o'clock. Seven hours sleep. Not too bad. Get me home. I need some sleep. That said, I feel like now is the perfect time to do the outro. So, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Ah, it's my heart going. When I get hiccups, my heart's pounded.
Is this really my floor? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, this. Yeah, get this. You gotta say, I'm not used to this sofa being here. Guys, thank you very much for watching my vlogs. If you do enjoy them, make sure you leave a like rating. Click that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. Awesome and only. 7 p.m. for the next day of the vlog. I love you, I'll leave you. Like, rain, subscribe, and it's up. Peace.